Have you bought a Shimano chain with a quick link that looks like this? Have you struggled for hours to try and get it to fit? That happened to me, and in this quick video, I'll show you exactly how to fit it quickly and consistently every time. Okay, so uh, once you've got your chain routed on the uh, on the bike uh, in the usual fashion, uh, you just do it the normal way. You connect the um, the two ends of the chain. Obviously, I've been made sure to make sure that there's a two kind of smaller links here so that the quick link will fit there. Um, the purpose of this video is not to show you how to fit a chain, it's to show you specifically on this quick link uh, how to fit this quick link because it is a real pain. Now, the first thing to know about this quick link is one end of the inner um, cutaway is slightly bigger than the other end. So if I put this end on here, you can see that fits on fine. If I put the other end on, try and put the other end on, you'll see it won't. Okay, so one end is slightly bigger, so you need to find that larger end and get it on like so. Okay, next thing you need to do, once you've got it in place, is then push it up or swing it around so that the other end, the smaller end, is now on the left hand side. Okay, what you then do is you move the larger end over the other end and then this will be roughly where most people get to before they get stuck and really don't understand why it doesn't just pop on. What you have to do, you have to press, you see how I'm pressing here, you have to press the back of the link right against the chain, both ends of the chain and then you bend the chain inwards slightly and as you do that it just pops on like that it just clicks in simple as that uh, as long as you're careful you can do exactly the same thing to remove it just remembering that it needs to come off on the right hand side and just be careful and also you need to apply pressure here because you need this right pushed all the way up here so that when when it bends all of the play is in on this side where um, where the larger end is okay so bend it inwards slightly and now you can see it's there and it just needs to be lifted off you just bend it inwards like that and as you can see it's, it's now moving in just the same as when it came on and it does help to have a little bit of encouragement just in that gap there so you just bend it in that's how you get it off just use a little screwdriver bend it in it is not easy but you can then take it off. And so there you go, it's all fitted. I hope that helps someone and do submit a comment if uh, I can be of any further help. Thanks for watching.